th this text is essentially a hybrid. It started out in first edition, written just for detectives. All we wanted to do was reach law enforcement and detectives, people working sex crimes for the first time. Now, with the second edition, the first edition was adopted into a number of colleges and universities being used by criminal justice students. So now we have a hybrid text, which is both serves as a professional manual, but also is suitable for the classroom. And again, the mission remains the same. First time that people who have never encountered a sex crime before don't know what that is, don't know what it means, don't know what it requires. This book answers those questions. From the moment that you get the phone call, you have to respond to a sex crime, to the moment that you're in court testifying about it uh, and, and trying to seek a conviction or an acquittal. The best ones are the ones are, who are who are dogged, they, are, they read everything, they know that they're not experts, they ask for help when they need it, uh, they're constantly on the phone to like university professors or they, they'll read an article, they'll call somebody, I read this article, I need to understand this, I need to understand that. That's who we wrote this book for. We wrote this book for the investigators who want to work their cases. Uh, but they also are the kinds of detectives who they don't really care about their administration. Their administration, their leadership gives them all the latitude they want, they stay out of the way, and when they need something, the leadership steps in and gets it for them. But they're not sitting there thinking, how is this going to affect my promotions, my pay raises? Am I going to make sergeant? Am I going to become or get to be a lieutenant? You know, what, what's my political career looking like? A good investigator, they're in that position and they never want to leave. They don't want to be promoted out of it. They want to stay in that detective rank forever because they can run the ship. They can uh, do what they need to do. They're on the street. They're making the moves themselves and they're not relying on other people to get stuff done for them. They can move fast. They can move quick and they can do what they want. And to me, those are the best kinds of investigators, if they're, if they're also skilled and ethical. If you take those same attributes and put them into somebody who's corrupt, you're going to have problems. The most difficult hurdle for any investigator to clear, whether it's an experienced one or an inexperienced one, is their own experiences. They have to let those go. Now, that doesn't mean they ignore them. It just means that they don't use those as confirmatory. Uh, like one week, you'll have an experienced investigator who's had a uh, really good experience with a victim and they came in and they made a complaint and an arrest was made. The next week they'll, they'll have that same kind of victim come in and make a report and they'll treat him the same way and it'll turn out to be a false report. It'll burn them deeply. So the next week the same kind of victim comes in again and they treat him badly because they just remembered the false report. So instead of treating people differently based on your emotions, based on your moods, based on your own temperament, you have to separate yourself from the equation and be an effective, competent, ethical investigator every single time. Doesn't matter who your complainant is. Treat every complaint as equal that walks through that door. The Rape Investigation Handbook is for first-time investigators and students who are thinking about a career in law enforcement as a criminal investigator. It sets you up with an understanding of how the criminal justice system works in relation to uh, sex crimes, the kinds of sex crimes that are out there, the kinds of victims that you're going to encounter, and the nature of the complaints that you're going to be required to investigate, as well as the investigative requirements and philosophy that exists so that you can do a good job, so that you can understand what a good job looks like versus an incompetent job. And the, ultimately, what we're trying to do with this book is to educate students and investigators with, in terms of what they can expect, what their job requires, what their job is going to confront them with on a daily basis, to give them a threshold understanding of sex crimes, of sex crimes victims, and the law as it relates to it, and the kinds of forensic examinations that can help. Without that, without that basic understanding, many uh, people go into those jobs lost and without, without a compass uh, to do their job effectively. And this, this textbook is designed to provide that compass. It's a place to go back to, to reference again and again uh, when you have these problems in the, in the field. But it is, it is ultimately a field manual that serves very well as a textbook.